Hi, this is Corey. Today we're going to talk about how to figure those damage modifiers on your roster. It's really simple. I've been getting a few questions about it. I think one of the culprits is the pre-generated rosters that come with the inner perdition sets. Um, people aren't seeing how those numbers are really figured right away. There's a diagram here, but there's three keys. Add your warrior's ability score. So in melee, you're gonna add your strength to that number. In missile combat, you're gonna add your agility to that number. And that's where your biggest plus comes from initially. Then you're gonna figure in the damage modifier from your weapon. Many are zero, some are negative. So um, very few add a positive number there. And then as you start to level up, your characters are gonna earn skills. And that's what's gonna really uh, tip the scales. A lot of skills like keen aim adds plus two to your bow shots or gash adds plus two to your longsword. And so between your ability score and that skill modifier, you're gonna go up a lot and quickly. I think the easiest way to do it will be for me to just go right on the computer and pull up some rosters so that you can see how that works. I just generated my brand new Dwarf War Clan. I'm just starting to populate it. I was able to afford studded leather for him and a shield, which is necessary. And so that's going to improve his defense by three. And that's going to cost six of my remaining gold. But I'm not real thrilled with him just fighting with a fist. Here's all the melee weapons that he can choose from. I didn't have a lot of money left. I really want that war axe. But I'm going to have to settle for a hand axe. Let's type in hand axe. Makes two attacks per turn. The damage that it does is minus one. Some folks were just typing in the minus one and they weren't ever getting through any armor. You can't forget you're taking his strength score minus one. So that's a two, no injury modifier, and it costs one gold. So in melee now, I know my Jarl can make two attacks per turn and I add plus two to whatever I roll on that D6, trying to beat the opponent's defense number. So let's take Legolas on my new elf team. I can only afford to get my warden a short bow to start. So we're gonna look up the stats for the short bow down there. What is my agility? With an elf, I'm a four agility, so I'm plus four already. A short bow is a plus zero weapon, so I'm doing plus four on bow shots. There's currently no injury modifier, and a short bow can go long range, so way better than that cudgel that the elves started with for free. And I'm going to record the amount that that costs. I'm going to do a trickier one now. In the last game played, Cassidy not only got a level, but I had a little money to improve him. One of the great things about the Orc Scourge is they only have to use fists. So you're going to see he's got the fist, but he's got this brawler skill. And what brawler does is allows him to make three attacks per turn with the fists as a minus one weapon. Well, I'm not loving the minus one weapon. So I'm going to go to the rule books and I'm going to buy gauntlets for three. So I'm going to type in the gauntlets. I still get my three attacks per turn, but now I'm an extra plus one to damage. And you're going to see that I've already got deadly aim. If you don't understand how that works, it's whenever I roll that damage roll of d6 plus three, if I don't get through the opponent's defense, I can reroll it once. If my initial roll does get through the opponent's defense on the injury roll, I can reroll that once as well. But I also told you Cassidy leveled this game. 
and I was fortunate enough to roll a strength plus one. So I'm going to go ahead and add that up there, and that's going to change it to a four. But with the gauntlets and the brawler skill, I still get to apply my full strength. So Cassidy is set up now, right? Because he's got a four strength, better than most people. He's got the three attacks per turn, really good. Um, he's up to a plus four damage modifier already. And he's got that deadly aim so he can reroll when I don't like my result. Hopefully this tip is useful for you in setting up your own War Clan rosters. Give it a try. I think you'll find it's pretty easy and really helpful. For the Witchborn, death is only the beginning.